Hey guys, Chauncey here again today, and I'm going to be showing you the Vuzik Star 1200 see-through augmented reality display. Okay guys, so I'm working with the tracking sensor on the Star 1200 display, and as you can see, I'm aiming the glasses up to the top corner of my office, and as I move around here, I'll start to see a yellow fish. You can see it on my screen here, I'm actually kind of looking at it and you can see it's all jittery just because I'm, I'm holding it with my hand. Okay, so I'll try to get it in the center of the screen and I'll zoom in on the lens so you can see what it looks like. So you can see it there. If you were wearing these with your two eyes then you would see a fish floating up in the top corner of my office that looks like that. This is a yellow fish. It would be floating up there. So this is what they call VR mode even though it's augmented reality with these displays. It's VR mode because, Vuzix calls it VR mode because you're, you're only tracking with this sensor right here. Instead of using like a marker and a camera. So, you see the fish there in the right eye and in the left eye. Very cool stuff. I am very impressed by these displays. This is probably the most compelling see-through display I've ever seen. Um, they're very lightweight when you take the, ca the camera that comes with them off. Um, I'm actually running them without the camera, and uh, these are awesome, man. You guys, if you're into augmented reality, these are very pricey, but I tell you, if you can swing it, these would be a great test bed for you. Um, the only complaint I have is that when you look through them, you can actually see the bounds of the resolution. Well, I can't really get a good video of that, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is when you look through them, you see a rectangle floating in the air in front of you, and the problem with that I find is that say your content goes off screen your eyes can see beyond that because your eyes have a very wide range of, of motion or range of view but as soon as the content goes off the resolution that is projecting uh, it will get cut off and uh, that's probably the only complaint I have I'm thinking about putting blinders on the front of mine um, you may not know what I'm talking about and that's okay uh, if you saw the display and played with the display you know exactly what I'm talking about right away Okay, so the Star 1200 display is actually a very great augmented reality system because it both see through augmented reality. Now, again, with your two eyes, you're going to merge a side by side video different from each eye into a 3D display. The difference is instead of just a video, it's actually going to appear floating out in front of you. You can kind of see through this lens. My desktop is being displayed right now, and it's kind of light because I have it set on like a dark mode right now. Now anytime you show like dark colors, like blacks and grays and browns, they're going to appear more transparent than colors like white and pink and bright blue and green, things like that. So the darker the color is, uh, the less light the projector is actually going to be projecting onto the lens, thus you have more transparency. So the device comes with this special uh, camera. Again, this is another, just like the RAP 920AR, the Star 1200 is a collaboration product. This camera on the front is an HD webcam from Logitech. It is a C910, and it's a very, very good camera for computer vision, in my opinion. Uh, I've been playing with it a little bit with the Max Reality software that comes with it, and it will track uh, objects right on tracking markers very well. Now, again, this system, just like the RAP 920AR, comes with a, well, let me focus, comes with a 6TC tracker from Vuzix, this little device here on the side is packed full of sensors that can actually track your head movements uh, orientation and it's somewhat of its position you know you can't just go walking around outdoors with it and expect it to track you everywhere you are geospatially but it does a pretty good job uh, just for basic VR and you can access this data with DLL files that are uh, provided in the Vuzix SDK. Okay guys so that's a good little preview for the star 1200 system I definitely just scratched the surface on these things if you guys want to ask me some questions go ahead and just post them on my channel or post them on this video post comments on this video I'm gonna be posting a lot more augmented reality stuff throughout the rest of this fall semester so if you want to see more of that stuff hit subscribe up above so you'll be one of the first ones to know and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah if you have any awesome augmented reality things that you're doing please uh, don't hesitate to send me a video response. Uh, I do love seeing all this stuff going on in the community with AR right now. There's just so much out there, and 
I don't even feel like I'm even a player because there's so many people doing it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, until next time.